Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Business Minute. I'm Sir, and I'm here joined with a special guest, Mr. Demario James. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing fine, sir. And yourself? Can't complain. Can't complain. Thank you for asking. Now, um, while we're getting started, I just wanted to to ask you, what was the name of your business? Uh, my name of my business is Sincere One Productions, uh-huh. uh, as well as um, I'm a realtor at Keller Williams Realty. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, with uh, Sincere One Productions, what do you guys do? Uh, at Sincere One Productions, under that roof, we, we write, um, shoot, edit, anything dealing with film. We do photography, we do wedding photos, anything you can think of with production, producing something. Um, we got light guys, we got camera guys, we got writers, we got one producer, we got directors. Um, you name it, we can do it. Oh, wow. That's that's wonderful to have everything under one, you know, house. That's that's awesome. Definitely. Right. So let me ask, how long have you guys been active? Um, I've been in business about six and a half years since it one production had. Um, Keller Williams, I've been in business there going on a year. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, that, that is quite an ambitious task, you know, starting your own business and maintaining, you know, another one as well. So... I wanted to ask, what inspired you to start, you know, your your own uh, production company? Uh, what started me to, what inspired me, actually, people telling me no, mm. inspired me to push and do what my um, what my heart desired. And you know, a lot of times, a lot of people close doors on you, everywhere you turn. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you just got to make a door for yourself, you know. I heard you got that. to just figure it out. You got to figure it out. It's it's a way. It's a will. It's a way. If they could do it, you could do it. Yep. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And uh, just like with anything, you have to work for it. And uh, I wanted to ask: Were there any obstacles that you did encounter and endure uh, coming up to this point? Uh, it was, especially with the production company. I had to finance um, my first feature under that production company with my money. Mm. So I had to go into funds that was on my day job, working actually me working for another company, working for somebody, I had to go into my 401k, pull that money to start up my own business. So and it, it was it, it was hard taking taking from, you know, your retirement and putting it towards something that you're trying to do right now. Cause actually I looked at retirement and I promise. You know, I know right now it's the closest thing to it, promise, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I completely understand. I've had that situation myself. Believe me. All right, and that brings me to my next question. Uh, how do you manage to balance work and your personal life? Um, how, how, I, how I do it is that, of course, personal life, family life, that's that's first and foremost. Mm-hmm. But what I do is I schedule myself with things I need to get done with the family early. Mm-hmm. Once I do that, once I take care of them, everything else after that, up until sleep time, sometime past sleep time, three and four hours past sleep time, is for the business. And a lot of times I don't get much sleep. You know, I have to catch up on sleep on, on down days when I'm not doing much or yeah. on weekends when I don't have to do much. So it's it's hard, but again, you have to take away from from your sleep. You know, I don't get eight hours of sleep. I don't get ten hours of sleep. I may get five hours sometime. I may get four. I may get six at the most sometime. Mm-hmm. But you know, sleep you don't have to get. They say you need eight hours of sleep, but I've seen people, you know, work and do things on four and five hours. Sleep. So you have to take away from that to put towards what you really want to do business wise use that time All right. I mean that's what I do anyway because everybody only got 24 hours in a day that's true so if I can do it then they can do it exactly exactly time management is what I heard all through that it's taking very, advantage very of exactly exactly so I want to ask you know with you having a, a production company uh, and you know an outside life as well uh, what experience did you find to be the most memorable of all um most experience that the most the one that really hit me the, the most that I feel is uh, when I completed the project and 
I did the showing and all the people showed up and they didn't know what to expect. I guess when when a company first starting out, you know, people may think the quality may be cheap or things like that. But from when I showed the movie and what I got back from that, from them watching the movie, they were blown away because they didn't figure an indie company can make a production like this, mm-hmm. you know, with as minimum people under the roof that we had at the time. So just to see people say, wow, he did it, or they did it, I didn't think they was gonna do it. You know, that was very, you know, it, it kind of opened my eye and their eye too. So uh, that that really got me, it really pushed, really showed me, okay, well, I can do anything I wanna do. They may not think I can do it, but it's up to me to show them. I heard that, I heard that, okay. Now on the flip side of that question, uh, coming from the high to the low, at any point, did you feel like you wouldn't be successful? And if so, who or what changed your mind? Well, I can say that I always, I never been an arrogant guy. Mm-hmm. I always, I always listen to people's opinion on what they may thought or they may say, well, I want to do it like this or I want to do it like that or I do it this way or I do it that way. And that sometimes it, it, it may break you because the same people trying to, they telling you this, they don't want to help you. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not willing to give you a helping hand to show you. So it it it, it got me to the point where it, it bogged me down. But when it bogged me down, it didn't make me want to quit. It made me want to show them. It made me want to succeed. It made me really want to show them because I'm, I'm, I am I'm feel like everybody had counted out what I was trying to do. Mm-hmm. So it, it forced me and gave me more energy. So I didn't have time to get tired of thinking about really Okay, I'm gonna give up on this because I'm. I was always trying to show, prove myself. Because I always felt that everybody had already counted, counted me out. All right. You know. I respect that. You know, turn their negativity negativity into power. And I, That's right. I definitely respect that. So going forward, thinking future here, where would you like to see your business in one year, three years, and in ten years? In the next year, I would like to have uh, completed uh, at least two of the 40 scripts that I have, uh, producing them into movies. Mm -hmm. Three years, I would like to have done five. 10 years, I'd like to be in finish 10 to 15. That's what what I want to do. All right, listen, shoot for the stars. I'm I'm definitely respecting that, that is, that is wonderful to hear. Very ambitious. I respect that. So that brings me to my last question, which is personally for, for everyone else out there listening. What words of encouragement would you have for someone else who's just starting? Don't let anyone steal your fire. Don't let anyone steal that feeling of you know, I'm hungry for this. I want to do this. I want to do that. Because people going to come and tell you things that's going to try to tear that down. Don't let them do that. Always keep that fire burning. If they don't see it, don't worry about them. As long as you see it, that's all that count. They're going to see it in the end. So never let them steal your fire and cut your fire off. Because once it's, it's burnt out and gone, it's not on fire anymore, you may can't get it back to where it was. Yes, sir. I, I love that message. I appreciate that. Thank you again, Mr. James. That that means a lot. Uh, if, if someone wanted to follow you or some listeners may want to find you on social media or follow your work, uh, is there any way they can find you? Yes, they can find me at Demario James. Uh, my email is demariojames at yahoo.com. You can find me on on, on um, Facebook under Demario James, also up under Sincere One Productions. Also, you, if you wanted to, you was thinking about buying or purchasing a property, dealing with real estate, you can find me on on online on, on online under uh, Demario James, the agent under Keller Williams Realty. So you Google my name. If you Google somebody's name, you can find out everything about them almost. So if you <laughs> right. Google me, if you Google me, you can find out everything about me, how you can reach me, how you can contact me. Um, my phone number is there. Uh, all my phone numbers is there. Um, 
my business numbers is there, everything is there. But if you needed to contact me like ASAP about something, about some business, my number, personal number is 334-235-8691. If I'm not able to answer right then, please leave a message. I'll, I'll return your phone call. But you can Google me and it'll give you all my information when you contact me. All right. And I'll also include the uh, link to your email in the uh, the description of the video here that I post on YouTube as well. So, okay, sound great. Sound all right. Great. Well, Mr. James, I thank you again for the opportunity. It's, it's been a blessing to hear your story. Uh, you have a blessed day. You too, sir. Thanks for your time. No problem.